What's up guys? I'm Ryan Tyler with Skiers Marine. And if you're in the market for a luxury bow rider that has really nice luxury appointments, a great rough water ride, and the ability to surf, we might have the boat for you. It's the all new Chaparral 26 Surf. Let's check it out. So before we put the Chaparral 26 Surfer in the water, we wanted to highlight some of the exterior features and then go over the specs of the boat. So this boat's 26 feet, five inches length overall, eight and a half feet wide, has a 65 gallon fuel tank, weighs 5,100 pounds, and is yacht certified. So Chaparral took the number one selling SSX model, the 267, and turned it into a surf boat for those water sports families who want a really nice rough water ride, really comfortable interior layout, but do want to have the ability to do water sports with their kids and their grandkids. They actually took away the extended V-plane hull and shaped the transom to where the water coming off the back of the boat has a nice clean face for the surfer. They used the Volvo Penta forward-facing drive, that way the propellers are tucked up underneath the boat. It's safe for all the people behind the boat doing water sports. To make the surf wave, they actually use surf gates. So these deploy out on the opposing side to shape the wave. And then they use a medallion touchscreen dash with integrated ballast to control everything at the helm. So you have a really nice user experience and it's really easy to maneuver. And it's just a great all around boat for the family. So let's put it in the water. So one of the coolest aspects about all the SSX line and the 26 Surf and the 30 Surf is this really nice, huge social swim platform. So Chaparral realized that just because you have a water sports boat doesn't mean you want to sacrifice the other stuff that people like to do on the lake, like hang out at the island or wrapped up with your friends. So they give you an oversized area to hang out. You can notice it's full beam width, so it's easy to board from either side. It's huge, so it's easy to walk on. We have three across seating on the transom. When you are hanging out in the cove or in the water, they give you a stereo transom remote so you can hear your tunes in the lake. This boat's equipped with tower speakers, so that's a perfect option for it. We have a nice tubing tow eye or ski tow eye for when you're not using the water sports arch. And then this really huge and nice convertible rear seat for when you are trying to relax and catch some rays. And it's huge, I'm 5'10", and it's really comfortable for me. The other neat aspect of this boat is with this big social swim platform, they use the patented Infinity Power Step and it's standard on all the SSX models from the 267 and 26 Surf up. So to deploy, it's really easy. I don't have to get on my knees like most manufacturers. And I have a really easy way to get in and out of the water that's good for all ages. They give you an oversized step on the bottom as a seat if you do want to hang out on a hot summer day. And we have two really easy, nice, big, large steps to be able to get you in and out of the water. A nice oversized walkthrough again with sea deck so you don't slip as you come in. So another thing you'll notice as you're looking at the interior is how deep the interior of this boat is. So for everybody in the boat, you're safe, you're comfortable, you feel secure even on those rough days because we know some of the lakes do get really crowded on those holiday weekends. And you have a lot of seating and they even ergonomically cup the backrest. That way this seat isn't wasted because on a flat surface like most people, this is not a comfortable seat to sit in. This boat's powered by a 6.2 liter Volvo, 300 horsepower, direct injected motor. So there's a lot of storage in this boat because it is yacht certified. It's made to hold everybody for an entire day. They hinge their storage seats so you can see how it articulates and you can put a lot of stuff in here. So it goes all the way up to my knees. Great for life jackets, ropes, tubes, and all your other boating accessories. We equip all of our surf models with the JL Audio Stereo Upgrade and tower speakers. So you can see the two big JL speakers right here. They're really great for the people behind the boat or if you're at the platform hanging out in the cove so everybody can hear the music behind the boat and have a great surf experience. 
You can notice the interior of the chaparral has some really nice rich finishes to it. So three types of vinyl, dual density foam. You can see how they even stitch the chaparral logo into it. It's all Naga hide vinyl that holds up really well to the elements, sunscreen, sun damage, UV light, all of it. The head compartment is really nice and actually finish out the area over by the head compartment well too. We'll swivel this back really easily as you just saw. The captain and the co-captain get their own set of JL speakers. A nice club box with tension hinges. Two more fender locks as you can see so we can have a total of four. But notice the interior accents with the wood trim how they do their grab handle, their stainless steel cup holders, and just how they finish out this whole head compartment area. We option this with just a standard toilet. So it has a nice porta potty. A lot of people like to use this to hold floats, surfboards, pretty much anything you could use at the cove that you want easy access to. So coming to the helm, you can see this is a really nice, luxurious dash. Chaparral focuses a lot on the experience the driver has. A really easy to use seven inch Simrad screen. So it has GPS, chart, echo, and you can display your instruments as well. And then obviously with Surfgate, we need to control the ballast system, the Surfgate, and all the profiles that go with that, and cruise control. Easy to reach and read switches. A nice stereo remote to where I control the stereo. I can also control it from this seven inch display. A leather wrapped steering wheel. And if you'll notice, the Chaparral logo always faces at the top. So that's a nice little feature that they do just to give you that extra experience. The digital throttle from Volvo is really smooth, shifts really easily. And then I have a cup holder for my cell phone with charging ports and auxiliary ports as well. But you can tell this is a really nice dash. And when you look at it with that stainless steel windshield that wraps all the way around, it's a really luxurious experience for the captain. Moving forward, you can see we have a wind dam for those chillier days, for those cool mornings when we're trying to get the morning glass, you can close it. And it protects everybody at the cockpit of the boat. Storage is underneath. That's where we actually have our Coast Guard kit right now. So for safety reasons, obviously we're on a boat, but there's a lot of storage in here. I could actually fit underneath the dash. So moving to the bow, you can see it's really deep. It's all wrapped in upholstery, so it's nice, soft touches. There's a ton of abundant seating, a full length grab handle for those rough days when I want a little more security. Armrest for both people on either side. It's really deep, comfortable. I have a cup holder here along with a stereo speaker so I can hear the music as well. Moving up to the bow, we have a removable cushion. And actually underneath that, we have a cooler as well that drains overboard. Additional cleats for either tying off to the dock or for an anchor. This really nice anchor storage with a four-step bow boarding ladder that'll go over the front. We have anchor keepers to keep the anchor from rattling. And then when you are out at night, we have a flip up bow light that stows away. That way, if I am boarding off the bow, I can step on it and I don't hurt my foot. It comes standard with the EFX power folding tower that's powder coated white or black. We option it with the board racks that are diamond back anodized aluminum, so they last a long time. We have a fat finger for your surfboards and foils, and a skinny finger for your weight boards and your skim boards. Standard with this bimini top, it's really nice. It's color matched to the exterior of the boat. You'll notice it's all stainless steel framed. When we do the JL stereo system in a surf boat, we also do the JL tower speakers for the people behind the boat and when you're floating at the cove. And this whole tower is power, so it folds really easy for storage. So all you do to do that is just press the button on the dash, it moves down. So if it's raining, I can actually trim it down so the bimini blocks the rain or if I'm going into a stack storage or storing in the garage, I can fold the bimini up and they can fit it in a smaller slip. And it goes back up with just the push of the button, really easy to do and pretty quick. To set this boat up for surfing, you're gonna first hit the surf gate screen, turn on our ballast, it automatically turns off once the ballast is full. And we're gonna select the side of the boat we wanna surf on. So if I surf on the left-hand side, surf gate is gonna deploy on the driver's side of the boat. If I surf on the driver's side of the boat, surf gate's actually gonna deploy on the passenger side. But Jared is a regular surfer, so we're going to let him surf on the left side of the boat. To set the speed for how fast we're gonna go, we're gonna turn cruise on. And then most people surf between 10 and a half and 11. 
So we're gonna turn it to 10 and a half to start there. We can show you how trim will adjust the surf wave while we get Jared back there. So guys, that's a wrap for the 26 Surf. Thanks for spending some time with me today and checking it out on Skiers Marine TV. If you like what you saw, feel free to swing by one of our authorized chaparral locations and take one out for a test drive. Thanks for watching.